Hi everyone and welcome to today's General Hospital Recap. I'm back! So, the most consistent thing on this channel is whenever I go away, I'm on vacation, I'm out of town, General Hospital absolutely explodes and as always, that's what happened. I go away and, oh, Silas gets murdered. Because that's the way my life works. Um, so, I'm, I always really liked him like even though he never really had like the best storylines or whatever I really really liked him so I am really upset about him getting killed I only found out on Thursday night in my hotel I was going through Facebook and um, one of the things was like Michael Easton is out and I'm like no and uh, so then as soon as I realized oh he knows all of the secrets I realized it was gonna happen very soon and uh, wouldn't you know what happened the next day. So let's get today's General Hospital recap. And if you haven't already, please subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos or recaps. So Elizabeth, Nicholas, and Laura. So they talk to Laura about uh, her decision to tell the truth or not. And Laura says she's not going to tell the truth. And she kind of talks around it and says she's decided to stay silent and let that be enough for now. Like the whole thing just went very back and forth, back and forth. But in the end, Laura says that she's going to go out of town and visit Lucky because she can't look Monica and Sam in the face knowing that she's keeping a, you know their son and husband away from them. And Nicholas was just like really cold. Like at the end... When Elizabeth uh, was asking him, like, if he thinks Laura's going to tell, and he's like, she won't tell, like, she won't tell. Like, I it ran through my mind. I'm like, he wouldn't have his own mother shot, right? But, you know, that's the things we have to think about now with this new Nicholas, you know? At the hospital, Hayden is awake, and she thinks that Jake is Jake Barnes, and that they're still married, and she doesn't remember Rick or Elizabeth or any of that. Uh, Sam thinks she's faking it, Jake not so much, and he questions why she would fake that because, you know, as someone who woke up in a hospital bed not knowing who they were, he can kind of sympathize with the situation. And then Hayden uh, says something to Patrick that, again, kind of like was like, oh, is she faking? Is she not faking? So, we'll see. Uh, Denise. So, Denise comes home, or should I say Ava? We all know. So, comes home and turns on the news immediately. Julian comes home, she gets really jumpy, and then Denise wants to know if he's still in the mob. I don't know, they have this, like, conversation where she's like, you tell me your secrets, I'll tell you mine. But then Alexis shows up, and she says that she believes that he's not in the mob, and that's why she came over, because she wanted him to know that she believed him. And then they leave, and Ava is still watching the news, I guess, you know, waiting for the news of Silas's murder to show up. At the Metro Court, Morgan is drinking, Sunny comes up to him, and I, I really hate Morgan when he's like, I didn't mean to sleep with Denise. Like, no, have some accountability. Take responsibility for your actions. Like, I can't stand him. And even Sunny's like, you, keep, you can't keep treating Kiki like this. Like, Sunny has more respect for Kiki than Morgan does. And Morgan wants to act like this whole thing is like Silas's fault, like, you know, or like someone else's fault. Like, he has no stake in this. And it's just so annoying. You know, right, Ecat? Ecat's annoyed. So, Sunny is the voice of reason here, go figure, and um, saying that Morgan is responsible and Morgan should stop bringing Silas's past up because Morgan's whole thing is like, well, he cheated on his wife who, you know, was pregnant at the time, so what does he have to do? And it's like, first of all, Morgan, that even happened before you were born, so, like, shut up. And second of all, none of that matters because none of that has to do with you sleeping with Denise and cheating on Kiki like it, it one thing has nothing to do with the other and he needs he needs to stop like why could they kill Morgan like I'm just just saying just saying just saying but I personally think that Morgan killed Silas that's that's who I think did it because now we have three suspects um what's it Nina Ava and Morgan and I I think Morgan did it personally and then Morgan says something super cryptic uh and tells Sonny that Silas won't tell Kiki and Sonny's like how can you be so sure and Morgan's like he won't tell Kiki so I I really think he did it personally I think he he's the culprit uh, speaking of Silas by Silas again I'm I'm really upset I really am I always like Michael Easton like yeah and uh, Nina is over, is like sitting over him with a knife, and I think she pulled it out. I don't think she killed him personally. And Nina's really upset, and she wants to save him. And Franco's like, it's too late. Like, oh, because Franco walks in. You know, you saw Friday. Um, <laughs> he walks in, and he's like, it's too late. Like, there's nothing we can do. So Nina says that she came over, she was furious, she pounded on the door. 
he never he didn't answer so she oh, went to open the door and it was unlocked so it opened and he was already on the floor with the knife in his back and franco says that he believes her and he says that no one else is going to believe her so get back to shady brook and you know hope no one saw her and she doesn't want to leave um nina wants to say goodbye to silas so she lays on the floor with him she recounts the good times they had together and i was just about crying i'm not gonna lie i mean that's the most human uh nina's ever seemed and silas like i don't know they were finally having like a good civil relationship so it's really really sad um <laughs> it just really is so franco after nina leaves franco is cleaning up after silas's murder he's just taking the uh knife and everything with them, wiping everything down. And then he leaves and Kiki is in the hallway and Franco and Kiki run into each other in the hallway. So personally, if I was Franco, I would be like, oh, I was just, you know, going to see your father because um, I was talking to him the other day. We didn't get a chance to finish our conversation, but no one was, an but he never didn't answer the door and then just leave and then let Kiki walk in or something. Like he needs, he, he needs to do something, obviously. Uh, Rick. So, Rick and Nathan. <laughs> so, Nathan is waiting for Rick in the hotel room. And Nate... E-cat! <laughs> um, and Nathan says that he's here for the blanket. And Rick is like, well, you're still going to need a warrant. And Nathan is like, fancy that. I have one right here. And Rick's face kind of drops. So, he hands the blanket over and says, a lot of good it'll do. It's mine. So, he's saying that it was an olive branch for when Michael had custody of Avery that he thought it might help... I, I, it makes no sense. So, um, then Rick tells Nathan that Nina is in Shady Brook and it was Nina's idea and Nathan says he knows Rick and Madeline are in this together and he, he knows that this wasn't Nina's idea and he goes to get her. So, Nathan wants to see Nina. She's not in her room. And then, um, when he's talking to the nurse about how Nina wasn't in her room, uh, Nina comes up behind him and is like, hi, I'm right here. So, Ooh, that might be close enough that, you know, they think she was there the whole time. So, hopefully. Um, so, I don't think Nina did it. I think that Ava walked in. I think she was going to kill Silas, but in the end, he was already dead. And I think that Morgan is the murderer. That's my theory. That's my theory right now. Uh, tell me your theories. I am really upset that Silas is dead, but I hope they make... You know, they do something with this. They don't let him die in vain. I know Michael Easton wanted to leave on his own because they really weren't doing anything with this character. So, like, I'm at peace with that, but I'm really, really going to miss him. I feel like I didn't appreciate him enough when he was here. And I will see you tomorrow for more General Hospital. I hope you have a great day. Bye.